Hey guys, it's Susie with Susie Nails It, and on today's video, we're going to do this Harlequin design using diamond shaped glitter. So stay tuned, and I'll show you how it's done. As usual, I've already primed my nails with base coat, and I have some black from Wet n Wild, it's just called Black Cream. And then I have some silver polish from OPI's designer series called Shimmer. So the first thing I'm going to do is start with the black. I'm just going to get three of my nails painted black here. There we go. Now the black from Wet n Wild is actually pretty opaque, so generally I can do this in just one coat. Not all blacks are quite this opaque. Um, I have some that are not, and I don't use them that often. So anyway, use whatever you have. If you have to use more than one coat, that's fine. No big deal. Let's see, we'll get this done here, then we'll get on with our silver. And then we'll do just a little bit of cleanup around the cuticle line. I'm not exactly that steady today, so I got a little bit of a mess to clean up yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my um, brush with acetone and just do just a quick little cleaning up right here around the edge. As usual, my dog Ty is making his presence known. I put my brush aside there, close my black, grab my silver shimmer, there we go. Now this, I am going to put two coats on. This particular shade of shimmer or silver polish from OPI is absolutely gorgeous, but it is, um, like most shimmer polishes, it is in no way opaque. So I'm just going to let this dry a little bit, do a little cleanup right there on the edge, and we're going to go for another coat of polish here. There we go. There, that's more what I'm looking for. Okay. I'm gonna get that closed up, and then I have some diamond shape large glitter here. I'm gonna grab some silver pieces, I'm gonna put one. Oh, there's a little hair on that, there we go. Put one right here. Put another silver one. Nope, there's two. Or more. Okay. There's one. Put one right here. I'm going to put one right there. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is just start grabbing random pieces and in no specific color shade or color order or whatever, I'm going to place them on my nail. And we're just going to totally fill this in. All right, 
I've got a pair of cuticle clippers here that I'm going to use to trim the edge of these off. There's a little bit too long in a couple of spots there. moving around and rearranging here. Make sure everything kind of fits. I like this little piece right here that I trimmed. I'm gonna just kind of set it in some of these other little open spots, just like that. more of those in half there. And then we're just going to fill in some of the little gaps. Oops, not wanting to pick up. There we go. At this point, we just need to let things dry, and then I'll be back with you just a little bit to apply some top coat. So I'll see you back in a minute. Top coat is ready to go on. We'll get plenty of top coat over the sequins here. You need to make sure you get all the way around, all of them, even the ones on the sides, and plenty of top coat to make sure that you have some polish going kind of in between and under anything that might be sticking up a little bit. That way they will definitely be able to stay on for the duration of your um, polish and not pop off prematurely. So be sure to like, share, and subscribe and follow me at Susie Nails It on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. Hope you guys enjoyed this design and have a great day.